Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the domain of this function. So the domain is the set of all inputs. It's all the ordered pairs in this case that we can plug into this function that will make sense. Let's look at each piece individually. So in the numerator we have x and there's no problems here. We can plug in any x value into this problem uh, so there will be no restrictions on x. On the bottom we have uh, the natural log of y. So the domain of the natural log of y is only positive values. So y must be greater than zero. However, uh, that is not the whole story. We have to worry about when the bottom part can be zero. So if you think about the graph of the natural log, let me draw it here for you. It has a vertical asymptote at zero, and it does this. So from the graph you see that the domain is, you can only have positive values of this. So y has to be greater than zero. And then it crosses here at one. So the natural log of one is equal to zero. So that can't happen. So we have to restrict it and say that y cannot be equal to one. So we need two conditions on y, which is a little bit different than some of the other examples we've been doing. So the answer in set notation there's our curly bracket for our sets. It's a set of all ordered pairs, so x comma y. The parentheses are really important. Then you draw the line such that, and then you state the condition that you figured out. So in this case, y greater than 0 and y not equal to 1. And this would be the domain of this multivariable function. 